Hello everyone, I'm in a unique position that I was very lucky to test the new Volkswagen ID5 model year 2026 in two different versions when it comes to the motors. I could test the Pro version with just the rear wheel drive and the GTX version, version all wheel drive. And with both I did a long distance trip and it's very interesting what the result was. If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. The two cars weren't exactly the same. So the GTX version had a panoramic roof. I don't know if this has anything to do with consumption and weight and whatever. But the main difference were, were the tires. The GTX came with 21 inch summer tires and the nice rims that they have for the car. And the Pro came with 19 inch winter tires. Way more comfortable so, but Again, there would be the same comfort on the GTX. It has nothing to do with a difference in the motors, but I'm pretty sure it also has a difference in consumption. But we're gonna look at the data that, that, that I have from this long distance trip and compare it a bit. And of course, the weather wasn't exactly the same. The perfect thing to compare those two cars would be with the exact same configuration, driving it at the same time, the same behind each other or side by side would be even the best ever and then see exactly but we'll see and what's very important but that's why i'm doing this is the gtx is considered to have higher consumption because of the second motor even if you drive a constant speed the motor is still spinning even if it doesn't get any power and then you have a loss but the battery is 79 kilowatt hours to the 77 in the pro and it charges better 100 peak of 190 kilowatt where the pro has a peak of 140 kilowatt okay let's get to the numbers so here up here on the left i have the pro which i did on november 16th test and here on the right i have the gtx which i did two weeks before on november 2nd both i charged 200 percent at home preheated at home while plugged in without battery care that means that the battery is charging or gets the power for, for preheating from the, from the charger. So the weather was different and it's also very unlikely that two weeks apart on, uh, you get the exact same weather. Uh, on the G day of the GTX it was warmer, 9 to 11 degrees, but 50% of the time it was raining and strong rain. I had the heat on 22 and a half degrees, both had a uh, heat pump. And the same interior, everything. I mean, the, the, the GTX had the Super Sport seats and the ID5 Pro had the normal sport seats. Uh, with the Pro, it was 5.5 to 10.5 degrees, so colder. It only rained for a few minutes uh, and I had the heat to 23 degrees. And when we look at the consumption, the GTX has a tiny bit higher consumption, even though it was raining, but it was warmer, so the heat had to do less. Both needed three charging sessions with both. I wanted to get to the first Ionity charger in Himmelkron, but I couldn't get there. Even with 130, the range just wasn't enough, in, even though the GTX has a bigger battery. What you see here, difference in kilometers, six kilometers difference, is because there on the Pro I had a highway closing because they repaired the bridge, so I had to get off, and it was six kilom kilometers longer, and it also took six, mini six minutes longer. So if I take the six minutes off, it would have taken 332 minutes, just, just one minute slower. But again, it was colder, but not raining, and I think the rain has more impact on that. And very, very interesting also is the, the kilowatt hours charge. Both charged 106 kilowatt hours on the drive. Important is though, the GTX arrived with 5% at the end and started with 95. Uh, and uh, the Pro started with 96 and arrived with 12%. So the GT that Pro used less energy for the drive. 
also smaller battery that's also more but very very interestingly is the charging like i said the gtx charges better especially to 60 percent way better and we can see that pretty well here where the average power on the pro is 120 125 kilowatt on the gtx it's 120 the first charging session because 30 to 40 percent we know that from volkswagen id if you plug in at a high state of charge you don't get good power so when you plug in at 15%, the power that it has at 30%, you don't get that when you plug in at 30%. It's just how it is, and it's very sad. But at the other two charging sessions, they get 146 and 148 kilowatt hours. And we see that also with the time. Same kilowatt hours charged, but 44 minutes for the GTX, 51 minutes for the Pro. Seven minutes longer. So why was the Pro almost as fast as the GTX, even though it has lower consumption and it took seven minutes longer to charge the same amount. Because with the, G, uh, the, the Pro, I drove a bit faster, 160 for 50, 60, 70 kilometers, something like this, because I noticed I will not reach the first uh, the charger that I wanted. I have to charge earlier. And I did the same with the GTX, but it was raining and the consumption, and I, th and I realized this later. So I didn't drive that fast. I also drove faster, but not that long. And that uh, meant I arrived with 30%, where with the Pro I arrived with 25%. And then... Uh, this was the time I think that the Pro would have been slower if I would have just driven const, constant 140 with both cars. But very, very interesting. I think the GTX could still be a tiny bit faster, but not by much. It's very, very interesting. Again, I did the charging test where you see the charging curve and also the kilowatt hours charged into the battery um, over time. And I also know the average consumption of the GTX. And the GTX should be faster. It charges more range into the battery over time. And we can see that it's way faster charging, especially when you don't charge to 80%, which you don't do on a long distance trip usually. You charge so you can get to the next charger in 160, 170 kilometers. It's just faster than charging to 80 or more percent and drive farther. It's just because the charging gets down the power so low that it doesn't make any sense. And the average speed is then 1.2 kilometers an hour faster. Again, this was because of the detour. It would be almost the same. But I think with the same weather, I think the rain had more impact than the bit cold, colder in the Pro. So I still think the GTX is faster on a long distance trip, but not as much as you think. And it has so many advantages. Bigger battery, charges better. But again, the GTX here also had the 21 inch wheels where I would say it has higher consumption then, but summer tires. So it's very hard. Again, the best would be to do this test with the exactly same configured cars, just one Pro, one GTX and drive at the same time. But I don't have that possibility to do that. Very sad, but still awesome. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.